Hey y'all, Mike here from allamerican.org and today I want to talk about cutting boards made in the USA. Now I've never really talked about cutting boards on the channel before, but this is a category where there are a ton of really great local options. So I encourage y'all to go to your local markets and check out all of the different artisans in the area and all of the different cool cutting boards that they're making because chances are you're probably going to find some at your local farmer's market or other shops. But outside of that, for the purposes of this video, we're going to run through a ton of great cutting boards that are made in the USA that you can buy online or in store and break it out into a couple of different categories based on the material type. And of course, we have a ton of written research on cutting boards made in the USA, so I'll put a link to that in the description below, as well as the cards at the top of the video. But when it comes to materials for cutting boards, there's really a couple of different categories. So one is your natural wood cutting boards, which is going to be a lot of the options that are made in the US. And then everything else is typically going to be something like plastic or stone. But there's a lot of good American made options in both categories in terms of material types. So I'm going to split out my recommendations into each one of those. We're gonna start out with wood cutting boards and Virginia Boys Kitchen. These guys are based in McLean, Virginia and specialize in walnut cutting boards. They come in a ton of different sizes and styles and they also have serving boards, but generally walnut is a really good hardwood option because it's not going to dent easily and it's also not going to dull your blade. Next up is John Boo's. These guys are based in Effingham, Illinois and offer three types of cutting boards. They're rustic edge cutting board, a reversible one and a round option. Each of those different styles of cutting boards are available in maple, cherry, and walnut, and all of that hardwood is sourced in the US. Each of their boards is finished with beeswax, and what I really love is that no two boards are the same. There's a ton of just natural grain in each of the boards, so no matter which one you get, you're getting a really unique piece. Next up is JK Adams. JK Adams is based in Dorset, Vermont, and makes a ton of really great wooden cutting boards that are all sourced from North American hardwoods. Everything's finished in that Dorset, Vermont factory. And I just want to note that not everything in their online store is made in the US, but they do have the country of origin in the product description on pretty much all of their pages. But for cutting boards and especially the wooden ones, you should be okay. Next up is Coastal Carolina Cutting Boards. This company is based in Holly Ridge, North Carolina and makes single block wooden cutting boards from beautiful slabs of wood. After everything's made, they also have a laser engraving machine. So if you want a custom message or a monogram or something like that on the cutting board that you're ordering, they can do a ton of custom work on it. So that's a really cool feature if you wanna go with these guys. Next up is Words With Boards based in Baltimore, Maryland. Now, similar to the last option, these guys are totally customizable. They're all wooden cutting boards made from North American sourced hardwoods, and they can put any sort of message or uh, other engraving on the board. So Words With Boards is another good option, and they also make a ton of other kitchen accessories and Lazy Susans and other things like that. So definitely check out their online store. Next up is Whetstone Woodenware. These guys are a small shop in Silver Lake, Indiana, and what's really cool about them is they source all of their maple hardwoods that go into their cutting boards less than 10 miles from where they're assembling everything in their small workshop. So the final cutting boards are really cool and they also make a ton of other wooden kitchenware, so definitely check them out. Next up is New Hampshire Bowl and Board. New Hampshire Bowl and Board uses locally grown North American hardwoods and traditional woodworking techniques to make all of their cutting boards. They have some pretty cool styles that are really going to stand out in your kitchen, and they also have some really neat charcuterie boards as well, so they are definitely worth checking out. All right, now let's move on to some non-wooden materials in terms of cutting boards. So there's a few good options in this category, and the first one that I'm gonna highlight in this video is Epicurean cutting surfaces. Now, Epicurean also has some wooden cutting boards, but they also have a paper composite cutting board if that's a material that you're looking for. It adds a pretty natural textured look to the cutting board and it has a layer of silicone on the bottom of the cutting board to make sure that it stays in place. Now that silicone is unfortunately sourced from China, but a lot of their other materials that they are using in the cutting board are domestically made. So just one call out there in terms of material sourcing. Next up is Architect. Architect sells a wide variety of cutting boards, but they are best known for their original gripper cutting board, which is a plastic composite. 
It's made from a thermally bonded polypropylene material, which is dishwasher safe. So a decent option there with Architect. And again, ton of different styles in their lineup. So make sure to check out their online store to see all of them. And another plastic cutting board option is Dexis. Dexis is based in Texas. And if you want an affordable plastic cutting board that's made in the USA, this company is it. Now they are a huge plastics manufacturer. Not everything that they make is made in the USA, but they do have a select line of plastic cutting boards that are made domestically. So if you're looking for a basic plastic cutting board, Dexis is a decent option. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. Now, like I mentioned, we have a ton of written research on cutting boards and more brands that I didn't mention in this video on our website. So go to allamerican.org, check out our written research on cutting boards made in the USA. Let me know in the comments below if there's any brands that y'all wanna shout out or if y'all have any questions. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.